The Buffalo Bills are champions of the AFC East for the first time in 25 years. A big step, but just one step on their way to a Super Bowl, Steve. Crazy. It's a great time to be in Buffalo right now. Uh, those Buffalo Bills of yours winning the AFC East title for the first time since 1995. I look very different than I did in 1995, <laughs> and you look exactly the same. In the inner office here, they had a thing going around. That was a thing. Everybody shows a picture. Where were you in 1995? And you know, all the Bills employees are six years old or whatever. Josh Allen's in utero. Me, I'm standing there on the field in helmet and full gear. Test you, man! Steve Tasker was a fan favorite on the last Buffalo team to win the AFC East. On a team loaded with Hall of Famers, the current Bills broadcaster made his mark on special teams. We had Kevin Stefanski mic'd up this year. Hardest thing in football to do. And he said the hardest thing to do in the game of football is not play quarterback. It's not play quarterback. But it's, it's to, to be, be on the front, front line. line. On return. These dudes are running full speed. That is hard. That is hard. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's, it's a great way to get all the anxiety out, man. It, it, it's fun. You get to go bang into whoever's in your way with no repercussions. I think the entire world would be a better place if every human being had the opportunity to run down on a kickoff coverage at once a week. You still might not find anyone to do it better than Steve Tasker. The OG of special teams was a Swiss army knife. He returned kicks, he blocked kicks, and he covered kicks. And it's Steve Tasker who has been all over the field. Carving out a 13-year career may have seemed unlikely for the Kansas native who played both football and rugby at Northwestern. I get picked up off the waiver wire in 1986 by the Buffalo Bills, and I show up to Buffalo the day before Marv Levy's first game as head coach. I haven't gotten to practice. I didn't do a walkthrough. I don't know what my number's going to be. Your first day of school in a new school in a new town. And I look like somebody's little kid brother who's just there to visit. And Marv captures the room. OK, Steve, have a good one, pal. He's going, we're going to get better. We can get better all the way around. In fact, we're going to get better on special teams right away. We got a new player. We picked him up off waivers from the Houston Oilers, Steve Tasker. Steve, stand up. So these guys are all like, yeah, new player. It's a new coach, a new direction. Who is this guy? And they turn around, <laughs> and I stood up. The disappointment was palpable. Those frowns turned upside down once Steve Tasker took the field. He was named to the Pro Bowl seven times. Opposing coaches were forced to game plan for the guy who looked like he didn't belong. And as the Bills went on a run of winning four straight AFC titles, Steve Tasker always seemed to be making big plays. Steve Tasker, oh my! You on the field came up big in a return versus the Raiders in 93 during that playoff game. What do you remember about that? I remember, crazy as it sounds, I remember anticipating it. It was the coldest game in Buffalo Bills history, still is. That's why this is the NFL, they don't call these games because of weather. You play no matter what. Their kicker, when he planted on kickoffs in particular, he planted hard. And I thought, you know, there's a chance he's going to squib this because he's going to slip when he plants that hard. And sure enough, he squibbed the kick. And I thought it was going to go over my head, but it knuckled and dropped right onto my shoulder. And it's taken by Casper at the 30, run to the 35, 40. When I came around the corner, I thought, I might go. I'm going to go. And then I started realizing I regretted being. <laughs> I was running. I got, I got too many clothes on. <laughs> 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 And I get over to the sideline, and I ask the guys, I go, who caught me? Because I, you know, I thought I was a pretty fast guy. And they go, yeah, Dan Turk caught you. Dan Turk, he's the long snapper. As it turns out, it wasn't Dan Turk. It was Willie Gall, the Olympic sprinter. When you were with Buffalo, there's so many memories, but uh, most famously known 
for four straight Super Bowls and being on the losing end of those. You can talk about it. You don't have to, you don't have to skirt around the issue. I'm okay oh, with that. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> the hearts are heavy and the pain is deep for Buffalo. All right, since we're going there, you got to be honest. Which one hurt the most, though? Uh, they all hurt. Uh, they all hurt. But I think the first one's the one that kind of gets you because it was like that, that first time feeling of invincibility. On the way, it's long enough, and it is no good. We've overcome so many challenges, and to have it be that kind of game where you have a chance to win it and it doesn't happen for you, uh, that's the one that hurts the most. Let's say a hypothetical. You get to trade in your four straight Super Bowl losses for one Super Bowl victory. Would you do it? No. No way. No way, because I, no. No, I wouldn't trade any of it. It was all awesome. It was a great run. The fact that uh, I got to experience that with the guys that I did in the city that I did with the team that I did is worth all of it. I don't think I can do that. I wouldn't turn in any one of those four trips just for one that went the way we wanted it to. Bill's fans today would gladly settle for just one. Today's team has captured the city much like Tasker's group did three decades ago. Well, there's a reason it's called Bill's Mafia. You guys stick together through the good and through the bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty unbelievable that the fan base from those 90s teams grew in the midst of two decades of hardship. The fun that they're having and the joy and the generational passing of the torch and how different it is in these days than it was back when people were wearing Zubaz and had mullets and starter jackets. Tasker and Buffalo have a lot in common. It always seems like they have something to prove. As the Bills strive to fit in with the NFL elite, Tasker waits patiently for his chance to be immortalized alongside his Hall of Fame teammates. You are arguably the best special teams player to ever have played this game. Do you think you deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Certainly, if you're gonna put a special teams guy in, I'm happy to be in that conversation. I understand the debate. I know it's difficult to make an argument when you're comparing a person like me to a person like a uh, Bruce Smith or a Jim Brown or a Joe Montana. You're the guy at home. It's relatable. And that has yeah. to be a big reason why this town and that team embraced you the way that they did. Um, <laughs> give, me, give me a minute. 180 pound, 5'9 guy. I don't look like I should be playing. It is a struggle when you don't feel like you fit in and you're always overlooked. The proudest thing about my career was when it was over that those guys loved and respected me.